Good evening. We want to thank you tonight for welcoming us into your home. And tonight we would like to celebrate God's Son, Jesus Christ, on this Christmas Eve. And we're doing things as a church a little bit different this year. Just like I'm sure every one of us in our personal families, things have been different all year long. And Christmas is, seems to be the same way. We know many families are meeting in a different light in their homes. But tonight we want to, to take a few moments this evening to be able to celebrate, to be able to worship, glorify God and His Son, Jesus Christ, who was born as we celebrate on Christmas. And so tonight we would like to look at the Christmas story, a very special story that is found here in Luke chapter of 2. Luke writes, And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world shall be taxed. And this taxation was first made when Cyrenius was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, every one unto his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth unto Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and the lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished, that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and lied him in a manger." because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone around about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear, fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings, of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace, goodwill towards men. And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them unto heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem, and see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. And they came with haste, and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying which was told them concerning this child. And all they that heard it wondered at those things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen as it was told unto them. Tonight, it's a silent night. Tonight is a dark night as we reflect back of this night that Christ was born. Just like tonight, this evening, it's dark outside. It's a, it's, it's a silent night. It's, the world seems to be quiet. And amongst the night, we see that there was no room for Christ. There was no room for his mother. There was no room, as we say, for Christ to even lay his head. But in this night, what we see is the promise of God being fulfilled. We see the, the love that God has for all mankind as he sends his only son, God himself, to come down to live amongst us, to experience the pain, to experience the hurt that we all go through on a day-to-day -day basis. Tonight is a night that we rejoice 
that we glorify for what God has done. And just like the angels proclaimed the glory of God in this night, so too tonight we want to proclaim that Christ Jesus is the Lord. That Christ Jesus is the Lord of not just our hearts, but God, Jesus, his Son, is the Lord of all. And tonight, as we reflect upon this story, we reflect upon this manger scene. May we know tonight that Christ is not in a manger. Tonight, Christ is not found on the cross where he went and he died for you and I. Tonight, Christ is not found in a tomb, for the tomb was empty where he rose from the dead on the third day. But he ascended to heaven. And tonight, where can Christ be found? Christ sent his spirit to live amongst us. As Christians, we accept Christ into our hearts. And tonight, Christ lives within us. As we spoke in earlier, to this evening, this season, this whole year has been different. And we know tonight that many of you may be meeting with your families in different ways than you've done in the past. Tonight you may be alone in your home where typically you would have family gathered around you. Tonight it may be a smaller gathering compared to what you've seen before. And tomorrow things may be totally different. But may you know tonight that you're not alone. May you know tonight that if you're saved, that you've asked Christ into your heart, that Christ is with us That is what the prophets told uh, of old, of the Old Testament, that when God would come down to this earth, his name shall be called Emmanuel, which means God with us. And tonight we celebrate because the story is fulfilled, the prophecy is fulfilled, that God did come to be with us. He's available for all of us tonight. If you've never accepted Christ into your heart tonight, may may tonight be the night that you do that. May tonight be the night that you ask Christ into your heart. The Bible tells us that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Not one of us is righteous, but the only person to ever live on this earth with no blame, without any sin, was God's Son. The one that was born in a manger that we celebrate here tonight and into tomorrow. It's his son that went to the cross and died for you and I. And it's his son. It's through his name and and asking him into our hearts that we are able to find forgiveness of our sins, to be able to live eternity with him. As we've talked in the weeks leading up to tonight on, on our Sunday morning services here in the church, Christmas is a time that we look at and that I'm hopefully it's a reminder of the joy, of the hope and the peace, as well as the love that is offered through God and through his son, Jesus Christ. It is my prayer this evening that we may be able to share, that you in your homes tonight, that you may be able to feel feel the, the hope, the peace, the love, the joy that is only found in Jesus Christ. The love, the peace, and joy that is not found anywhere else in this world, but is only found in Jesus Christ. The one that was born in a lonely manger that we celebrate this evening. Tonight is a silent night. And tonight we would like to sing praises to our Lord. And I invite you tonight, we're going to sing Silent Night tonight. And I invite you tonight to sing along with us. The words will be here on the screen. And you and your family, I I just pray and ask tonight that we can gather around our homes and, and, and our devices, wherever we may be watching on tonight. And to be able to celebrate and rejoice in God's Son, Jesus Christ. So sing with us, Silent Night. Oh, mm-hmm. 
Thank you for singing with us tonight. And what a beautiful night it is to celebrate the birth of our Savior, Jesus Christ. It may be dark outside tonight, but Jesus is the light of the world. He came to light a way through the darkness, through the pain, through the tragedies, through the hurt. Jesus Christ is our only hope. And we rejoice in that tonight. As we close tonight, will you bow your heads with me? Let's go to the Lord in prayer. I'd like to pray for, for our country and one another and our community, uh, as well as everyone around the world tonight. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we love you. Thank you for the opportunity that we've had to gather this evening. Thank you for our congregation, many of those that, that, that are meeting at, at homes and families in different ways this season. And we just ask and pray tonight that you may give them a spirit of encouragement this evening. May they feel your ever-loving arms wrapped around them tonight. Tonight we pray that if anyone's watching here tonight and partaking in our service that's never accepted you into your heart, in their heart, that tonight that you, that you will draw them to you, that they will know tonight that the only way for forgiveness of sin is through you. Tonight we pray that you will be with this country, that you will be with the, the entire world tonight, that you didn't just come to save our country, but you came to save the world. You came for all mankind. And we pray tonight that we may be able to come together in harmony and peace tonight and to be able to rejoice and celebrate that you are still on the throne this evening. We love you when we put all of these things in your hands. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you again for joining us tonight. From my family to yours, we love to wish you a Merry Christmas, and we hope that everyone has a very safe holiday Christmas time season. And here at the church, uh, we, our doors are always open. Uh, we're looking forward to be back into the church house this Sunday and to be able to worship the Lord. If you do not have a home church, we invite you to come. 10.30 a.m. this coming Sunday, um, either here in person or you join us online, we would love to have you. But tonight, we'd like to wish you a Merry Christmas and have a wonderful evening.